Visiting Old Trafford today, Manchester United versus West Ham. And how how is Manchester United doing this season, you may ask? Well, they're not doing so hot. 15th place in the league, but neither is Chelsea. Neither is Manchester City. I don't know what's happening so far this season. I understand it's early in the season, but the, neither team or either of one of those big teams is doing very, very good. Right here, they, they're starting Lindegaard, their, their backup goalkeeper, the has in the bench, Di Maria's in the bench, Falcao is in the bench. Maybe they think we're an easy team and they don't need to waste all their talent or they, they need to give their talent some rest. I don't know what it is, but we're going to try to make it very, very difficult for them. Right here, Willems with the ball. He goes to Sarate. What a beautiful give and go, but Willems. How are you going to miss that, man? In the third minute, only in the third minute, we missed an easy, easy opportunity. Andy Carroll and Sarate, another give and go. Sarate picking up his head, the cross. Andy the Tank Carroll with the header. Opening up the scoreboards. Beautiful, beautiful play from Sarate and Andy Carroll. Finally, finally playing to Andy Carroll's strength, which, which, which is headers, man. The aerial threat is real with this guy. Finally, we give him a cross. Finally, he's probably like, finally, I've been waiting for a cross for, for five games now. So, hey, Andy Carroll, there you go. He finally scores a header. Second goal of the season for him, I believe. And you can see it in his celebration. He's getting rid of a lot of frustration, man. He's getting rid of a lot of frustration. Right here in the 35th minute, another chance for us. Beautiful back heel from Andy Carroll. Jarvis, our left mid, is unable to put that one away. Nice save from Lindegaard. But, oh, no. Here come the Reds. Here comes Man U von Percy with a beautiful volley. Adrian, Adrian, our goalkeeper with a hell of a save. And that would be the score at halftime, man. So, believe it or not, I was extremely proud of how we played this first half. We were better than Man United, but still, we still didn't get more possession than them. I don't know what the hell I have to do. I've tried high pressure. I, I, I don't know. I just can't get the ball back, man. But right here, Wayne Rooney would get a shot at. And the second half was all red the second half was completely i mean completely dominated by them look at barkley he hits the post we're we're unable to clear the ball i was just trying to shoot it anywhere anywhere 54th minute this thing was not over yet another close shots man we're dodging bullets we were sweating so bad man they had us against the ropes the entire second half Adrian, Adrian, save after save, man. Von Persie was getting frustrated. They were trying anything over the top boss to Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney one-on-one. -on -one. Not much of an angle for that shot. Nice stuff, though. Nice save right there from Adrian. But look at this, man. 72nd minute, another chance for them. Beautiful cutback, but Adrian once again. He was being a beast, man. 83rd minute, a header, and Adrian once. I mean, how many saves is this? Four, five, only in the second half. Marcos Rojo goes to Wayne Rooney. Another save for Adrian. 90th minute, the ref blows the whistle. Somehow, we've survived and we've pulled the 1-0 victory here at Old, at Old Trafford. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how we did it because the second half was all red. Like I said, it was all completely Manchester United. They wouldn't let us get out of our own half. And look at these stats, man. It looks like ultimate team stats. Completely lopsided. 15 shots, 8 on target. But they were very, I mean, very inefficient. Out of 8 shots on target, out of 15 total shots, you can't make one. Our goalkeeper was spectacular just spectacular these two guys kevin nolan and guy demel both upset with me both disappointed that they're not starting but man our starter squad is getting it done bad news for the reds bad news for manchester united oh my goodness rooney suffers a broken ankle three months out that's terrible news man so we have a center back winston reed he's been playing so good his contract expires in 10 months and I'm so satisfied, so happy with this guy. I'm going to offer him a, a contract extension now. 60000 is what he wants for three years. Crucial first team player. We'll see what he says. On to the next one, though. West Ham versus QPR. We're at home and what? We're playing during the day? It looks compl It looks like a different stadium. And I hadn't seen this stadium during the day, you know, in the game. And... It, it tripped me out. I was like, are we at home or what, what's going on? Yeah, we are, we're at home. We're at home. We're just not playing 
uh, at our usual time, which is at night. So it looks kind of weird and it feels kind of strange. But anyways, right here, Adrian already starting off, keeping his good form and and I honestly, I wasn't satisfied by the way we played this game. It was the 34th minute. We had yet to generate any plays offensively and QPR so far was the better team man they were the the one with the most opportunities right here in the 43rd look at that tackle man horrible tackle to try to stop sad at the end that fast break off of that foul we get this nice play in the midfield campbell goes to jarvis jarvis to jenkins and jenkins and cuts back he sends in the cross andy the tank caro is there man finally once again well, he must be feeling like finally these dudes are playing to my strength Throw me some crosses, baby. I'm good with headers. Two crosses, two headers, two goals for Andy Caro. There you see it once again. We did not deserve to open up the scoreboards yet, man. In this game, this was probably our first play of real, real danger. But there it is. Three goals in the BPL for Andy Caro. Is this it? Is he finally finally gonna start scoring every single game we'll see it but look at look at campbell beautiful moves right there getting rid of the defender the slight tackle does not connect sending another cross there it is andy Car what the hell it's clear it's clear that playing with his feet well let's just i don't want to i don't want to call him out but it's just not as good as playing with his head like, oh we'll just we'll just leave it at that so you see, look at the halftime stats uh, yeah like i said man qpr was playing better than us I was, I was not happy with this game, but with that said, look at this chance for Andy Carroll. Come on, Carroll, pick up your second get goal of the game. Oh, my goodness. You guys said finesse, and I finessed it, and he still saved it. Damn it, man. We, we missed those dumb opportunities, and it, it, it frustrates me, man. Be, believe me. And I know I could have gone near post, like I always say. Go near post, because it usually goes in, but it feels cheesy, man. It really does feel like I'm cheating the game, because... I don't know. Maybe I should just start scoring near post every single chance I get. But I feel like I, I feel dirty trying to do it, man. Because I know it's kind of exploiting the game. I don't know. It is what it is, man. Right here, Jarvis goes to Mbolo here. Come on, youngster. He goes back to Valencia. The save, man. The save and the counter shot doesn't really fall anywhere. 90th minute. QPR. Can they tie it up? Close. They got close to tying it up. And honestly, I was just happy. I was just happy this game ended because it was not a very good game for us. Somehow, man, somehow, even while we're not playing at our best, at our full potential, I feel, we're pulling these results. 1-0. We got dominated by Man United. We won. Here we win 1-0 once again, and QPR was honestly the better team. I don't know what's happening, but we're still winning, man. Without possession, without the majority of shots, we're still winning. In the next episode... If we keep winning, it's probably our last episode in world class. I'm going to make the move to, to legendary. I feel like it, it's the right thing to do. One more episode in world class. If we win, if we keep winning, we'll move on to legendary. Thank you guys for watching. Likes, appreciate it. See you guys on the next one.